Good morning, Nina. Good morning. So, you know, we have been talking about this plant I was looking through. Ponnangani, you know, we mm. always refer to, you know, it is like Ponnangani or it is a cousin of Ponnangani. Mm. But we haven't done Ponnangani, it is Which in is the book. Which is again from the Amaranthus family, no? It is Amaranthus family. Mm. It's that family of Brazilian joyweed. Mm. Joyweed that we had done. Um, mm, mm. So this is the kind of one which is very well known in South and India. And it's one of my favorite to eat. It's yes. absolutely delicious. Yes. Yeah. yes. And there are a couple of varieties. There is a red one and the green one mm. which we both find here. Mm. So let's uh, have a yeah. look at this here. I think it's the first or the second one. Yes, right there. Yes, so very small leaves. Narrower leaves, but yes. you know, same again. The flowers are tiny little ones, and which mm. is uh, at the and it base. puts out um, yes, puts out roots at all the nodules and kids. right. So it's you know it's it's alternanthera sessilis. Right, sessilis is kind of which is you know uh, which stays. Okay, uh, which means and alternanthera is the family. So right. joy all the joyweed joyweed family. Right. So this is called sessil joyweed. That's why. And because there is a different kind of couple of uh, coloration, mm. there is a dwarf copper leaf also. Yes. Um, and I have actually seen the same plant, the cultivars. You know, mm. there are garden variety, there are yard plants. Mm. They are not necessarily ones which people eat, but they are equally edible. They can be, yes. yes no, I see it in the Tibetan pavilion. It's lining on the edge of the, the red one. Ah. It's lined up on the red and I'm like, well, this should be, this <laughs> yeah, should be this in the garden. Can we see in the, in the, yeah, in the pull out and the see what it looks like? Yes. Uh, so... Here it is. Right, yes. So here you see that uh, it's quite different when it is very young. The leaves are much broader and becomes narrower as it grows. Mm. It's even quite, you know, qualified, uh, categorized as an aquatic plant because it needs, you know, it grows on moist places and in the moisture. And in the, the Tamil, it means, Ponangani means the body will get a golden luster. How yes. beautiful. Yes, yes. So Amazing. It's also very good for eyes. Eyes uh, for the and, eyes, and, yes. And the yes. skin, so yeah. Um, you know the one of the the Sanskrit name is Matsyakshi. Mm. Matsya is fish. I is uh, you know Akshi is eye. Okay. So Matsyakshi is that the flower looks like that on the plant in the leaf looks is like, like fish eye. and it's a tiny little dot. It looks like a fish eye. Beautiful. <laughs> so so let's go and find it. Yes. So, here mm -hmm. is a nice spot of Ponangani. Mm. It's growing along here. Actually, it grows very well in this very sandy soil, this sandy loamy soil. Mm. And um, yep. it's being harvested all the time for the, for the cafe. Yeah, so, it's very, uh, you know, it's very, very... Um, very young and tender. Delicious yeah. like yes, this. Yes, yes. You know, this is yes. how you want to eat it. Like this, you can even eat it raw. Definitely. But, yeah, but uh, of course, ni lightly sauteed is also fantastic. When it's you bigger, really do it nice, gets, can yeah. get like this. Even. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is what I find interesting is when you have these weeds, so so to call, so they're called, um, in in a more cultivated area because they actually take on a. Another, another. You right, know. right. They get a little bit of water. They get tended, so a bit more quantity. Uh, yeah. So they're, you know, soft. Uh, you could be harvesting this, you mm, know, and if mm. this and in between this, yeah. there is absolutely no problem to have some ladies swinging. Here's a few radishes coming up in between yeah. the and some corn coming up in between it. It's no problem to be an intercrop. No, to no, be, yes, to be an right. established yes. part yes. of agricultural practice yeah. where these weeds are left yes. as a more of like a ground cover. Right. So, you know, um, these are alternate. I wanted to point out something. Mm. Give me a leaf. Um, you see the base of the leaf? Yes. It, it's called 
it's called spatulate okay uh, this i actually covered in my podcast this last week okay um so spatulate means it's you see that it the leaf base tapers mm. and joins the uh, stem right it is the same character all alternanthera has okay so if you see one you know it's alternanthera okay. it's just have to figure out which one but you okay. almost did, don't need to figure out because they are all edible and awesome right so this is kind of most people know and we have been referring to this you know oh you know punnangani and this is like punnangani yeah. so this is the this wonderful is <laughs> this is the wonderful <laughs> punnangani and but you know this is so popular that these are also cultivated mm. so you do get it in the market looks yeah. slightly different so this is the wild I mean, market means the little old ladies on the street who will sell this a bit yeah no no, no this comes to the supermarket really mm, even punnangani is a okay. is a in thing so okay. they they do get called you know it's like the parupukire which is the purslane okay they do get cultivated also okay um, let me let me just show people how we actually could grow it you know mm-hmm. because like what i've been doing is i've been i've been pulling it up and mm-hmm. i've been um transplanting it so let me find a little piece like there mm-hmm. we would just you know that's not really long enough but we would take a piece out mm-hmm. that has the roots mm-hmm. like that and we would just dig a little hole in the ground mm-hmm. pop it in mm-hmm. and plant it yeah and that's as simple as that you know you help propagate this uh, this plant i've been taking that to the community garden projects and in, and suggesting people look this is these are the types of plants you want to have in your garden if you have 10 or 15 spinaches like this you'll always have spinach right you know what what more could you want and if you have a little longer stalk and you are you know got it from your uh, local grocery or local old lady who will also work yeah yeah you just cut out the stems like you do in yeah. basil put it in a glass and they'll yes. root It and will you, root. yes, yes. Yeah. as long as the earth is moist or yes. you, it will also root but otherwise you can put it in water and yes. get the roots get and the then roots plant and then put, it yes yeah, yeah. Amazing. amazing beautiful this is not just food it's a blessing absolutely <laughs> and these are so awesome to eat i mean really people feel that you know healthy food may not be tasty it's the contrary it's actually it's the, the contra- <laughs> i would say it's the medicinal value yeah, that yeah. reflects in the, the you know an amazing taste right it's just awesome okay my one of my favorite it's pandangani Have you been watching the virtual weed box? Have you enjoyed? How about today? Uh find some punnangani which is in your yard or you know in your neighborhood. Incorporate in your diet and share the recipe with us with picture. We will start the crowdfunding very soon. I urge you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave your email in the link that is provided in the description. And I'll see you in the next weed box.